Well, this is Alan. Alan is just now five days after surgery. Uh, he had a little bit of discomfort because his bandages was too tight and uh, as soon as he cut it looser, it felt a lot better. And he had an extremely large bunion here. Matter of fact, Alan flew in from Hawaii to have this done. You can see that the angle between these two lines here is actually 21 degrees, which is extremely large. And the vast majority of surgeons across the country would have chosen to do a lapidus or lapoplasty type of procedure to fuse this joint to make this go straight. And then they would address the bunion. And you can see the sesamoid, there's two of them, is extremely subluxed. And the great toe is leaning so hard it's crossing underneath the second toe, as you see on the before picture and the after picture. So now let's compare the after x-ray. We can see that the toe is nice and straight. The sesamoids have been realigned and there's no more bone sticking out beyond this edge of this bone here. As we do see, that edge of that same bone is over here and how much bone sticks out over there. And also we had to do a secondary procedure, obviously to straighten out the second toe and what's called the hammer toe procedural arthroplasty at this level right over here, straighten out the toe. And we restored his joint space because that was subluxed as well. You don't see any joint space hardly at all in that x-ray over there. All right, so let's look at Alan's foot. This is now just five days after surgery. Again, Alan flew in from uh, Hawaii. Alan, tell us how the surgery went for you. Well, I stepped through the whole thing. When I woke up, was able to walk to the car. It was uh, it was painless. And tell us how you found us here, coming all the way from Hawaii. Uh, a friend of mine that lives in Orange County. I showed her my bunion. I was explaining to her how they were going to fuse the, the two toes and all the uh, complexities uh, after surgery that I could potentially have. The surgeon or the podiatrist told me that it would be likely that I would have or develop arthritis in the third, fourth, and fifth toes because all of my weight would then bear on those toes. I did go out of network. I paid my own money to come here and I'm happy with every penny. So, <laughs> okay. Appreciate that. All right. Well, Alan is going to be bandaged up. He's going to be walking around in this boot. He's going to be bearing all his weight and we'll see how he's walking here in just a minute.